Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminating. I just watched Boosie, daughter, Ariana video, man. Little fat. I've been checking out over the years, man. She seems like she's going to be all right, man. She's a hustler, man. She very wrap her ass off, man. But I listen to the way she say Boosie won't accept her because of her life choices. What she chose to do in her personal time because she ch chose to live an alternative lifestyle. Man, Boosie, you, I'm, I'm lost. So you accept niggas around you being gay, you still accept them. You go to jail, you got to put up with people who from an alternative lifestyle. Even in the music industry, y'all can't tell me you don't deal with people like that. Boosie, you'll even have a threesome with, with some girls, I bet. But you're going to not accept your own daughter because she choose to be. Or choose to live an alternative lifestyle, Boosie. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I know y'all like to worship celebrities. I don't celebrity worship. I, I don't have the uh, the syndrome to where the streets got me so sucked in or overwhelmed that any of that shit trump my kids. I don't give a damn if one of them want to be a white supremacist rock and roll punk rock star and walk around naked that's my child man and i'm gonna rock with their choices man if i feel like i can get them some advice on it cool if i can't then i'm gonna sit back and listen and try to understand man at first i was telling people man boosie came home he got on that money man boosie this i remember that little girl man when boosie was gone the video she used to make talking about her father man Boosie, you really got some broad ways, man. See, I think street niggas think just because you shoot guns and you do street shit and you survive the game, that's all that's to it. No, 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 my friend. It don't work like that. It's a whole lot of come with being a man or a street. See, y'all act like because you're a street nigga, you get to get away with shit. No, it don't work like that. You don't get to get away with shit because you're a street nigga. You should be held to... More standards because you a street nigga, man. You're supposed to be out there trying to show everybody, hey, man. A street nigga ain't what it used to be. As we used to call a real nigga, it ain't what it used to be. Man, if you can't accept your child, ain't nothing real about you, Boosie. I don't care how many albums you done sold. I don't care about you being on death row. I don't care how many niggas y'all done killed around BR. Hey, man, this ain't no good look with your daughter, dude, with, with our Paul and Ivy, man. Just like Boosie, man, I got multiple kids by multiple women. I ain't ashamed to say that shit, man. And I know I'm not the best father in the world because I really didn't grow up with what y'all might want to call regular love. You know, my mother didn't raise me. My mother wasn't a hugging type mother, the kissing type mother. She was more concerned with making sure we was all right, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I decide, damn. Well, if there was something I was missing growing up, maybe I should try to, you know, give that to my kids. I'm not perfect, man. But my kids know all they got to do is call my phone. Yeah, sometimes they might not agree with me and my choices and everything I do. But my kids got to realize I'm fucked up, too. I'm not special. I'm not above this. No, I'm not above none of this, man. I was raised fucked up, but I swear to God, man, I try my best. Not to pass on no bullshit ways, man. I try my best, man. Boosie. You're really a bitch, dog. For real. I'm just gonna go and see it, man. My name Kimbo Greed out of Dallas, Texas, man. Pleasant Grove, the Greedy Grove, man. Luke 12 and Jim Miller, man. The ugly corner, man. I ain't gonna one of these niggas on here playing no game, but let me talk about Boosie, y'all. Let me entertain y'all.
Man, only reason I'm speaking on this shit, man, because I seen the hurt in that child's eyes, man. I heard the pain in that child's voice, Boosie. For real, man. Talking about your show, man. Man, get right with that baby, man. Sit down and talk with her, man. Just because she like to eat a little cootie cat, man. That don't bother you at all. So does it make you feel like you weak or something? Because your child end up being gay? Do you feel like they came out of your DNA or something, Boosie? Huh? You got something you want to, you're ashamed because homosexuality is, came out your DNA, Boosie? Man. We be making some suckers famous sometime, man. I swear to God, man. We make suckers famous.